All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you guys see from the title, or as you guys can see, I'm in a different car. I'm in an E30 right now. So I ended up picking up another one for one specific reason. I needed an LSD, and that's the only reason I bought this car because it was a lot cheaper, I guess you could say, to buy this E30 than actually buy an LSD itself because they're just so high up in value. And if somebody knows what they have, they're gonna sell it for a really, really high price in the E30 market. And that's just the way things are. So um, me being me, I like cheap, so I ended up going this route and I just bought the entire car just because I think it's gonna be a lot cheaper and I can probably even make profit off this car if I really wanted to, but it's not gonna be the case because this is gonna go over to one of my friends. So as long as I break even, I'm 100% cool and I pretty much get the differential for free. So that's um, the reason why I bought this car, but I definitely wanna show you guys it and just kinda give you guys a little walk around. But here is my new E30. Let it focus real quick. So yeah, this is my new E30. It's a 1986 325ES, which is the sport pack. It has a sport steering wheel, sport seats, uh, the sport ES lift that goes on the trunk. I believe it has the front sport bumper, but it doesn't have it on the car. It came with smiley headlights as well, which I think is pretty awesome. I really love the smiley headlights on it. So it has smiley headlights. And overall, like the whole condition of the body is not really that bad. Just one thing that I don't like about this car is the fact that they painted over uh, the white paint. Here's the interior. It's in kind of rough shape. The sport seats definitely need replacement. The dash is super cracked and uh, the driver's seat is probably the one that's seen um, its worst days. But um, yeah, no radio either. What else is wrong with this car? Um, turns on. That's awesome, I guess. You know, it runs really good, but uh, the transmission is shot. It's an automatic, so it doesn't really matter anyway, but car turns right on. So yeah, that's a little backstory on this E30. I only bought it because it has an LSD. So I'm gonna begin taking out that LSD right now and just get it ready so I can start rebuilding it, resealing it. And then eventually when I take out the differential from my E30, I'm gonna put it into this one. That way this one stays running and my friend can pick it up. So let's go ahead and start taking out the LSD right now and let's see what it looks like.
All right, guys, so finally the differential is out. It's super, super dirty, which I'm gonna get to cleaning it right now, but first thing I wanna show you guys is where all the bolts are at, and it kinda explains to you guys how you should take this off. That way, when you guys take it off, you guys are able to take it off pretty smoothly because some of these bolts are really hard to access, and I'm talking about these two bolts up here that are 19 millimeter. You don't really have that much space on the top right there, but if you did it the way that I did, you should have some space to fit a 3 8 ratchet with a 19 millimeter socket on it. So if you start off by taking off the bolt and nut that goes through the bushing and then take off these two lower 19 millimeter bolts and then disconnecting the drive shaft as well and you let the differential rest on the jack and lower it down just a little bit, you should be able to fit a 3 8 ratchet with a 19 millimeter socket and you should be able to break these nuts loose. Otherwise, you're gonna be struggling with a 19 millimeter wrench with not that much leverage and it's gonna be kind of difficult to break some of these bolts, especially if there are C's on there because you know all E30s are pretty old cars. So uh, if you do it the way that I did, you shouldn't really struggle as much. But I'm gonna go ahead and get to cleaning this, take off everything and just see what kind of condition it's in because it looks like it might be a little rusted and I might do something to actually make it look a little better, maybe paint it or something, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna start cleaning it right now and just get all this dirt off. All right, so I think I'm just gonna end up sandblasting the entire differential. I just need to take this whole thing apart. So um, I tried pressure washing it. I tried hitting it with a brush. I used degreaser and everything, and it's this grease is really built up on there. And then also like the main case of like the differential is uh, rusted. So I think I'm just gonna end up sandblasting the entire thing and then actually paint this part that's uh, kind of rusting up over here. That way the differential looks 100% brand new. And uh, this is aluminum right here, I believe. So this one shouldn't get rusted or anything. So I'll just leave it in its normal condition. But if I sandblast the entire thing and I put everything back together, reseal a differential, we're gonna have like a brand new looking differential and it should be 100% perfect. This fluid looks pretty dirty. So um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do new fluid. Uh, pretty much new everything just go ahead and rebuild all the seals and stuff make sure it's not leaking uh, This differential does have about 244,000 miles. I think the odometer stopped working on that E30 So it could probably even have even more so it's a really good thing that I'm doing this just as an extra precaution Just so this differential lasts its uh, lifetime so it's gonna get a full rebuild and this differential should be really good once I finish it Alright guys, so I just finished up cleaning up the differential and it looks pretty good now. So I just try to take off all the grease that I possibly could before I send it out to get sandblasted tomorrow because I don't want to get any of this grease inside of the sandblasting machine. So tomorrow it's going to look 100 times better than this, but it already looks good as it is. I tried wiping off as much as I could and this is pretty much everything that I was able to do. I even tried wanda blasting this thing to try to take off as much grease as possible, but um, ran out of walnuts. I'll show you guys what the differential looks like tomorrow and I'll check back in with you guys in like one second. That way you guys actually see what this thing looks like.
All right, guys, so it's been a couple days since I got the differential back from sandblasting, so I wanna go ahead and show you guys it. Came out really good. It's pretty much ready for paint at this point. I got some paint coming in the mail uh, sometime next week for the actual differential. And then the cover, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it exactly, but I do want some sort of OEM finish, so it's probably gonna be left silver, but I think I'm just gonna end up painting it so it looks really good and 100% refreshed. Um, I do have some gaskets coming in as well, seals, so this entire differential is gonna be refreshed. The gears look like they're good, so I'm not going to touch any of that stuff, but I know that one side was actually leaking, so I'm just going to end up replacing all the gaskets and everything. Make sure it's 100% good before I actually throw it into the car. And I do have a lot of plans for the rear of the car. I already ordered a bunch of parts. I got bushings for the subframe, bushings for the trailing arms, uh, the bushing for the differential, got differential stud kit. I got the reinforcements for the subframe. So there's going to be a ton of work going into the rear of the car, but I do want to finish up the front before I move over to the rear because I don't want to have the rear of the car disassembled and as well as the front. So once I finish up the front, we'll get moving on to the rear and there's going to be a lot of videos on that stuff as well as me rebuilding uh, this entire differential. Make sure it's good before we actually put it into the car. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned on that stuff. But um, I'm going to get back to working on the removal core support and hopefully we'll have this finished up sometime probably by the end of this weekend. Today is Saturday so hopefully we'll have it finished up very soon. I know this video was kind of random and I honestly didn't expect for me to pick up an E30 but um, got a really good deal on it. Got my differential for really cheap. The E30 is going to a good home. It's going to be getting an M50 swap by one of my friends so uh, really stoked on that stuff. I just couldn't pass up on this good deal but uh, I'm going to get back to working on this so I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching leave a like comment down below subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out